Hello everyone and welcome back to Niche. And we are here with our Savannah survivors who are braving the dangerous burning Savannah, which did in fact begin to burn last time. Uh, yeah, we had some fires that started. They were scarily close to us, but uh, yeah, we were okay. Thus far, there's no more. It actually just rained recently. And so, yeah, that's been, that's been pretty good. The fires are out now and for the time being, we're safe. We've had a lot of issues with rogue males though, and we did already have our first Berghina, so we really need to get a move on, quite literally, on clearing out some of this grass and breeding in some uh, faster movement genes, because we need to be able to get away. So let's go ahead and we will end the day, we'll start a new one. We've done pretty much everything we can, and we have our new baby. Ooh, we actually have, that's fascinating, we actually have a uh, bat-headed creature. Oh, because we got the purse now. Now that's another thing that would be not too bad to have in the family, if we had a few creatures Creatures that could run around and uh, help heal our creatures up. That would help us significantly. But yeah, that's been a very good thing. Let's have Kunu continue to gather here. And I'm actually going to bring Roro over here. Let's send... Hmm, we can send Lara up here to help gather and to make sure we're getting the food from that. And then we will make sure that Laelsi Le has the chance to do some gathering as well. Now, let's take a look at, oh, it is, a, it's a dangerous termite mound. Uh, let's have Malami take it out, and we'll make sure that Kirta then licks her so that she doesn't, uh, she doesn't have those termites stuck on her, and then we'll actually gather from this bush for the turn. We'll gather from the termite mound next time, and we'll bring Dakuta over here to help do that. So our food is kind of wavering, that's, that's for sure. It's definitely not as high as it was. We were up to 60 at one point, and it's dropping now. But overall, we're not doing too poorly with that. It's not a disaster at the very least. Let's make sure that Laelsi does continue to gather. All of our females currently, our adult females that is, are pregnant. Ooh, and we have Nuvanpri who can come over and probably learn how to gather some termites from Dakuda. He can lick him off now that uh, he is... Um, done gathering and uh, he can learn how to do that because he does have the anteater snout now i do want to breed these guys again and we probably do need to send kirta somewhere i think i'm gonna bring kirta over this way and uh, we will move kirdukta out this way our food i think is starting to go up again so let's actually put kunu right here and i'm gonna bring we determined there's another nest down here right or somewhere? No, not quite there. There's another nest around here somewhere, but let's have Roro keep moving as well. Oh, there's another bush. Actually, oh no, we could just put her in the nest right up there next to Kunu. I don't know what I was thinking here, because uh, she's starting to get a little low on lifespan as well, and so we do need to be cautious. Any fires? None that I see so far. Let's start a new day. And we're going to keep our eye out for fires. I think they mostly start... Oh, apparently one had started over here, too, that I didn't even see. They mostly start during the heat waves, I think, which we're actually not in right now. So that's a very good thing. Let's bring Lara over here. I'm going to have her have her baby this turn. Uh, I think we can do that. I think we can afford that. Let's bring Kirta all the way over here. And then where... Oh, we do have a dig spot right here. We can bring Roro down here and have him clear away some of this grass. We definitely want to be cautious because if we're not, then we could run into issues with fire starting like right on top of us, which will be absolutely awful. That's not what we want, but we do have a lot of regrowing grass that we kind of need to keep trimmed down here. And there's not too much that Kirdukta can do at the moment. This gives us extra heal hearing, right? Yeah, it does. Uh, it gives us the same amount of hearing as the medium ears. I feel like it should give more, honestly, because look at those huge ears. Uh, but maybe not the uh, heat resistance that the actual big ears give. And that's probably why we want to be careful to get the uh, anteater snout to be the actual gene that we have. This isn't terrible, but it doesn't get... It, it, it blocks out our ears, basically, and it does, so we don't get any heat resistance if we get the big ears in. And that's going to be really important. So we definitely need to... Um, try and get this gene out of the family as much as it's nice in certain other contexts. We'll go ahead and start a new day again. We've got a pretty small tribe. Oh, no. Oh, no. That's just fantastic. Okay. Uh, Roro, fight, please. Everyone, fight, please. We have to... Oh, I don't think we're gonna make it. You can attack twice. 
We just need two more hits. If we could get, okay, if we can get, okay, if Nuvanpri goes up here, oh, he didn't, oh gosh, okay, gather and then get over here so that we can hopefully, oh, you can go right here. You have two damage. I think then it should die before it will actually have the chance to attack. If not, we might have to say goodbye to baby Nuduk or even to Lara, which would not be good news. Okay, we can start gathering here. We can actually break this down and gather some of the um, termites from that on this turn. And then, of course, Laelce, you need to continue to gather here. And we also got to keep a f an eye out for fires. We got to do some fire watching here. Oh, man. Okay, let's see how our second Varina has gone. Oh, it did attack once, but it didn't attack the baby. It did hit Lara. It didn't hit her for very much damage, though. And she actually is okay. She lived. I was worried she wasn't even going to make it. But she did survive. So, that is very good news. Let's bring Dakuda back over here. And we'll get ready to breed again. We got a lot of food back from that after losing some, so that was good at least. Are there any more dig spots around here? No, Roro, you're just going to be kind of on um, uh, on clearing duty right now, I think. Let's put Nuduke right here, and you can kind of come over here. We're going we're gonna to have some issues then, then with... Um, uh, what, am I, what am I saying here? We're going to have some issues with uh, getting too hot, possibly, if we're not careful. But I think that's kind of a necessary evil. Laelsi's still doing fine over here. Not too worried about her. And it doesn't look like we have any fires, and we're not in a heat wave yet, so we have a little bit of a respite, but I, I imagine that's going to change soon. Oh, yep, right as I say it, of course. Right as I say it. There's always going to be something. Okay, it's actually Lara's second to last day, so we need to breed her and have her have another baby right away. Uh, let's have Nivon Pre come over here. Kunu can come right over here. Roro is going to keep looking around, I think. We'll try and find some more dig spots for him. But we need to focus on having some more babies, because if we don't, we're actually going to run the risk of losing some of our genetics here. You can go ahead and gather from that one. I'm going to risk putting you over here. We don't have any bluebirds, so I'm not too worried about leaving them a little ways away. But we do just need to be continuing to be cautious here. And then, of course, any fires? Nope. The chance seems to increase the longer a heat wave lasts. So I don't know if that's true or not, but that's just how it feels at the very least. But let's go ahead. We will start a new day. Oh, and it was actually Malami's last day. I didn't even realize that. And so we have Kirdondler, who has the Anteater Snout, which is good, the Sticky Tongue. And yeah, that's a very, very, very good news for us. But unfortunately, yeah, we did lose Malami. We've lost our leader. So let's stop and take a look at the next generation here for a bit. So Anel Ray here is actually our only female. So she has D and G, I think, because we have male and we have male and we have male. So yeah, so D and G, D and G, D and G, D and E. Okay, um, G and E. Great. What did we miss from uh, Malami? We missed C, didn't we? We never got C immunity. Great. That's okay. Well, Lensi has it, though. Lensi has it, so that's not too bad. We didn't actually lose the gene I like I was worried we were going to. And let's go ahead, let's bring you right down here. Well, I'm gonna put you here, we're gonna breed, and then you're gonna go down to this nest. Um, and then I'm gonna bring Roro down to watch over the baby because we are going to lose Lara on this next turn. She only has one day left. So let's take a look at some of our new babies over here as well, though, and we'll take a look at the mutation menus. So I think we're going to have to cross our lines at this point, which is a little bit scary. That's not what I wanted to look at, actually. Uh, we got to put better eyesight in for sure, but do we have... We don't have the sticky tongue. Oh, that's the ram. Okay, sticky tongue. So we've spent enough time in the hot climate. Oh, but we will unlock it on this turn. Okay, so uh, this is a dangerous one. Let's have you hop over here, Dakuda, and go ahead and gather as well, and then we'll lick off those insects. There's somebody down there! Oh, there's somebody- there's actually- there's somebody right- oh my goodness! Okay, Laelsi, why don't you go investigate- oh, Lurler! He looks like somebody we want to invite to our tribe. 
Okay, and we definitely need to have somebody come watch over these guys, so Kyrdukta, why don't you go do that? He's going to try to be digging around, but let's bring Lency down here. And then on the next turn, we're going to be bidding farewell to Lara, I'm afraid, but we will invite him into the tribe. We had a new baby born as well, so let's invite this guy in. He seems like he's got pretty decent genes. He actually has a scorpion tail too, but he has the big ears, which is one of the most important things. So A and G, K and D. Let's actually have him be Laelce's mate, I think. Uh, we can have him... He can kind of wander around this area, I think, and protect her while digging for roots, perhaps. He can gather here, too. Okay, that would be good. And we have a root down here that we can dig up. Oh, pardon me. Sorry about that, you guys. Well, here we go. So I think I want, I'm going to bring... So I'm going to bring Nuvonpri down here to watch over baby Kirta. And then we'll actually bring Roro down here because he can go ahead and dig up this root. And that's going to help us out quite a lot. But what I didn't finish doing here, so let's actually have you first of all gather, and then you can come up here, lick his wounds, and then gather from right here. Um, we can't really do anything. I don't want to bring Kirdukta down here. He couldn't gather anyway, although what we could do... Well, I'm not going to do that yet. I'll just wait. It's, it's better to just wait at this point. But let's figure out our breeding pairs first. So we have uh, an Anael Ray, who should actually have the... Yeah, we can mutate in the sticky tongue now. So that's something we want to put on all of our creatures, provided that uh, we have the opportunity. So I think that's probably even more important than the Velvet Paw, uh, because we need that... Uh, we need that... Um, the heat resistance. So an Anael Ray has D and G. Let's look at some all of our males here. So we have D and G is pretty much out. D and G is pretty much out. Um, we have D and E. So Nuvampri is possible. K and C. Kirta would be good. And E and A. Nuduk would be good. So either of them. They actually have totally different genetic sets. So do either of them. Neither of them have the... Um, Neither of them have the sticky tongue in inherently, unfortunately. Does one or the other have better genes? So we have, overall, I think, we have better genes. Because honestly, the only difference between the short snout and the derp snout is the uh, distasteful appearance, which is actually beneficial. So derp snout is kind of preferable at this point we also have the lean body here which we have for both of them but i think kirta is going to be our best option so kirta here is going to end up breeding with uh Aniel ray and uh, so we'll bring her over there in a little bit we'll have them be our first breeding pair they'll be our orange pair so that accounts for several of our genes but we do need to get another pair in and i think these guys are also going to have a pretty good um possibility to breed they'll be our pink pair so we will mark them with pink just to make sure that uh, they kind of stand out and then Lael C will also be pink they're kind of they they both originated directly from here so they're a little bit different but we are losing food at a rapid pace so we definitely need to be cautious about that and not take on too many more creatures. Um, and then I think E and A, K and C, I think maybe Nuduk and Lenla would be a good option as well. I know they're very closely related, but I think they would be a good option for breeding because they do have opposite genes here. They both carry the big ears. They both, we could put, well, unfortunately, they both have a no paw, but, which is kind of dangerous, but we can put the um, sticky tongue in their genes as well, and I think that'll help. So let's go ahead, we'll do that. They both have good eyesight, so we'll put the better paw and we'll put the sticky tongue in their genes. So let's go ahead, we will put in the, uh, or the normal, the runner paw there, the runner leg, <laughs> and the sticky tongue, and these guys will be our yellow pair. So I'm trying to keep them to very uh, savannah colors here. We have very light, with lots of oranges and yellows here. So we have orange, yellow, and pink, and those are going to be our breeding pairs, but we're not going to do a lot of breeding for a little while now. And then we don't have any genes we're missing out on here, so we have B. Might be worth breeding Roro into one family, because I think he's the only one with B. Um, yeah, he is, so that might be worth it. But over here, so we have K and D, A and G, and D and 
is new, right? No, D is not new. K and C. C is new. Um, yeah, I think that's pretty much everybody then. Yeah, that covers all the possible genes, I think. So that's good. Let's go ahead. We'll start a new day. And oh, no. Oh, great. Well, Dakota, it is your last day. This is your time to shine. Take it on. Let's see help because uh, we need to protect these babies at all costs. They are pretty much the only thing left of, of um, well, they're, they're the future of the tribe at this point. They're not, not the only thing left, but they're the future. And if they die, we're going to be in some serious trouble. So let's go ahead. I'm going to bring Roro over here to help because Roro also could be a good fighter if need be. And you can go ahead and keep gathering. We just need to make sure we keep our food supplies up as we're going through this kind of transitionary period. Uh, Kirta, we're going to mark with orange. And I'm actually going to move Kirta over here. I'm going to start moving these babies in so that they're going to be closer to the... Um, basically closer to the center so that if we have something happen... Oh! It didn't attack! Oh, it was actually after Laelsi here. Wow, okay. Well, Roro, go ahead and help. Um, Lency, go ahead and help as well. And then Laelsi, you can go ahead and gather up the meat. That's going to be a big boost to us. We really, what we really need is a friendly bear. You know, that would be what would be best here. And it's actually Kunu's last day. So what I think maybe I'll do, and I feel like this might be kind of, well, actually we can't do that. I was going to say what might become a rite of passage for our creatures, kind of as they they pass on, is to spend their last turn collecting from the cactus. I could see that happening, but Kunu, unfortunately, was already, um, he was already too, uh, he, had, he had too few turns left for that. But I could see that being something our creatures end up doing Let's have you keep gathering, and then we do need to break down this turbite mound. It's a friendly one, so we can have... Who do we want to have? Well, we can have one of these guys do it on the next turn, and then hopefully Cairdonler will grow up a little bit more, and we'll be able to send somebody else, like maybe Cairdukta, over there. So let's start a new day, and... Nope, I don't think... Oh, but you've grown up! Uh, Aniel Ray, you can come over here... And to help out, or actually, let's um, let's have you gather this grass. Uh, on Ale Ray can come over here. We can have Roro come and attack this, and then you can start gathering. You can teach Baby Kerdonler how to um, how how to collect from those, and then Lency can come over here and make sure that we're gathering here. Oh, who are you? Who are you, Dantano? I don't think we can invite you into our. Oh, he's got good genes though. Ooh. I really want him. Oh, Kunu! It's not his last day. He had one more. So I think, I think this will be a rite of passage where on their last day, they'll if they have the chance, they'll kind of gather from the cactus there and uh, use their last turn to get a little extra food for the tribe because we are waning in food supply again and that's scaring me quite a lot because that was what caused us so much trouble in the last playthrough was when our food supply dropped to a dangerous level here. So we have 12 creatures and we're definitely not getting that much in food. So we kind of need to figure that out. Also, are there any fires? There are not. Wait, yes, there is. There's one starting. Okay. <laughs> so we need to keep an eye out on that. Let's go ahead. We'll start a new day. And... Overall, I think we're pretty good. Oh, we need to make sure these guys are the alpha so that if we do run into serious food trouble, let's park, have you park over here too. And you can gather here. That way you can take full advantage of our food as needed. Um, I'm going to move Nuduke out and we'll put Kyrdukta over here. Kyrdukta has the medium body, which is, I think, what's causing such trouble with uh, gathering there, perhaps. Let's have you continue to gather here. Is there... There's a rogue around. Great. Okay. I think you probably need to go and try and fight that rogue, perhaps, before it causes problems. Oh, let's make sure you gather as well. You can go ahead. <laughs> I'm imagining him just headbutting it here. We've got to watch out for Lency, because if it goes after Lency, there's not a lot we can do about it. Maybe Kirta can come over here and sit next to Anael. Uh, on AL Ray, because eventually we are going to end up breeding them together, so let's make sure they're both on Alpha. 
but we definitely need to make sure that we are gathering because if we don't, then we're going to be in trouble. We, we've got to do a lot of gathering. We've got to be as efficient as possible at what we do here. But thankfully, fighting that rogue did bring Lurler close to a root. So that's going to help us out quite a bit, too. I think we need to find more termite mounds, quite honestly. Uh, I don't know exactly where those will be. Oh, somebody died out here. I, mean, I don't know if they died in the fire or shortly after the fire or what. But, oh, no, it's not you. No, no, Dantano. I can honestly see Kirta just attacking kind of out of shock and out of defense. Um, just going after this creature. I mean, they're all trying to survive. But uh, at the same time, we do need to protect what's ours. So there actually is another route down here. Uh-oh. Uh, you can attack and try and chase it off and then go dig. You can gather right here and then be ready to move if need be. Uh, let's have you gather. We'll have you gather. You actually do have the claw, so that's going to be important. Why don't you even come over here and be ready to face off against that rogue if need be. And then Lency will stay here and kind of gather some of this up. I don't really want it going for her. And we also, we need to find, what we need is another, um, another berry bush somewhere around here. Let's have these guys actually head up this way. There's actually a dig spot too. And we'll bring them back out and they can kind of head over to this uh, berry bush here and kind of lay claim to that as well. well. Let's keep an eye on the fire, which is over there. So it is spreading a little bit. But we definitely need some of our explorers to venture farther away. Oh, good, and it's raining. Oh, perfect. That's exactly what we want to see. Okay, you can gather here. There's so much food that we're. there's no way we're going to be able to gather it all. Let's make sure you gather from here as well. You can gather right here. Oh, that's a rogue. Oh, my goodness. Is that a rogue? That is a rogue. Okay. Um, there's so much food that we don't even. we can't even do it, everything with all of it. There, there's too much food. We'll have to gather some of it on the next turns, even. Um, oh, this is a rogue. Let's take you out and uh, continue to attack there. You could actually come over and gather from here, which would be good. You can kind of pursue that rogue, maybe. Well, let's have Laelce gather, too. And, oh, the rogue is lurking around there now. So let's have you kind of pursue it and make sure that uh, we give him a good what for, if need be. I'm actually going to bring Kirta over this way. Oh, there's two rogues. Oh, no. I'm actually going to give Kirta... Did you... No, he didn't go after Lency, which is good. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and uh, bring Kirta over here to help gather from that. And we'll, we'll go ahead and we'll start one more day. I think the rain is probably... Yeah, it's stopped. It's gone back to being hot. And uh, that's kind of unfortunate. But let's make sure we're continuing to gather here. You can gather right here. We've got a lot of creatures. Oh boy. You can take a swipe at this guy. Let's have... Oh, unfortunately, yeah. I was gonna say, I didn't I didn't know if he was actually gonna go after her or not, but he did, unfortunately. So we now have a rogue-born baby potentially on the way. Uh, let's go ahead. We'll have you gather here. Is that... That's a normal termite mound, so you can come up here and be ready. Did somebody gather? I, heard, I thought I heard someone gather. Oh, and you can head this way because there's actually uh, a root to dig up over there. And our food's going back up, which is good. You can't break that down on this turn, so we'll just go ahead and clear away some grass to make sure that we don't have fire starting right in our midst. But uh, on the next turn, we should be able to... I guess this... Oh, no, though. Oh, no. Oh, it's right up here. Okay. Um, we need to retreat. How good of eyesight does it have? It has five eyesight. You currently have no camouflage. Nobody here has camouflage. All right. So it's going to be able to attack you or to see you on the next turn. But let's just have you gather and then everybody can kind of just run away. <laughs> uh, we'll, we'll escape as best we can and try to kind of regroup and then get our, our stronger creatures over here um in time to face it if possible so you have three strength let's bring you over here and there's not more much more we can do with that here Donler has four strength how did you get four i guess oh because of, of medium body okay that makes sense um where is it probably going to come over it's probably going to come over right here so let's put you right up here so that you'll probably be right ready to face it it might even attack him which i certainly hope not but we can't really control that. Wait a minute. 
That is a rogue, okay. Uh, you can break this down. You can go ahead and gather. And you can't gather, unfortunately. But uh, I'm even going to have Lency continue to attack this rogue, I think. But I think we've got enough creatures here to be able to face that Barahina. So we'll have to do that in the next episode, though, because it is about time to wrap up. So we'll go ahead and end here for today. Uh, so thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the episode. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. But until then, this is Jay, over and out.